Welcome back, Thick Queens and Kings and all you roll in between. Happy New Year's! It's a brand new year. I'm excited. I know I'm late, but I am here. Guys, I was so ready for 2020 to be over with and so excited about 2021. I know everybody has all these expectations for 2021, but y'all, right now, I don't know. We still got COVID going on, these new strands, all these things is happening over the world. I don't know, guys. I'm praying for the best for this year because last year was something else to deal with. But I know everybody wants this year to be great. One, but it takes you to make that happen. Whatever you want for your year to be, you have to make that happen. It starts with you first. So today, guys, I'm going to create a vision board for the 2021 year. I created a vision board on last year surrounding traveling, living a healthier lifestyle, social media, and all those things. So this year, vision board is going to kind of mimic some of the things that I had on my vision board for last year because I did not get to accomplish some of those things due to COVID. So I'm going to set some more expectations for those things this year. So grab you something to drink. I got me a glass of wine. I have everything ready to go. And let's jump into this video. So before I begin, I want to go over with you my vision board for 2020. And some things that I had put on my vision board as far as traveling, I was going to go to Dubai. And we had a trip planned for Dubai in October. But because of COVID, we had to set it back. Then we pushed it to March. And there's still a lot of restrictions that is not allowing us to go to Dubai at this time. So I wasn't able to fulfill that dream last year. I also had in mind of going back to New Orleans. And the reason why I wanted to go back to New Orleans is because New Orleans got the best food, music, and drinks. I just wanted to let my hair down and live in the moment. Also, I had planned on going to Disney World. Again, COVID, you know, although I think Disney was open, I was very skeptical about going and being in those crowds. And then I had, um, the beach plan and I did go to the beach because you all saw that vlog on that and that was fun. So I also had on my vision board from last year how to deal with time management, how to be more on time as far as having a cleaning routine around my house, making sure all of my files and papers and things are graded in a time efficient manner. I also wanted to start my YouTube channel, which I did last year. So I did accomplish that goal, but I set a high goal for the, my uh, subscriber count. Now, you remember last year I set my subscriber count at 10,000. Now, I guys, I, I'm nowhere near 10,000 subscribers. I wish I was, but I'm not. However, I'm going to set that expectation again. It's not going to be 10,000. I'm going to be more realistic because I'm not able to put out as much content as I would like because as you know, I am a full-time teacher. Teaching this year has been a very overwhelming experience. I think I spend so much time planning just to make sure these students are engaged in their learning. And it's just it's just taking up a lot of my time. So I think that people who don't have these full-time jobs, they're able to put that content out. I've tried planning for days to film, but it is the editing, guys. It's the editing for me that's making me not put out the content like I would like to. I've been filming. I've been capturing moments but I just haven't had time to actually edit the videos. So that's going to be something that I set for myself on my vision board as well this year. I also planned on living a much healthier lifestyle and that included doing exercises as well as having meditation moments and I also wanted to read a little bit more. So now I did do exercise, but that quickly dropped off once we got in quarantine. Even with that being said, I still lost some weight. Um... I didn't read as much as I would like to, so I'm going to set that expectation for this year as well. And also, what I was able to accomplish was finding more healthier recipes. I also had a plan for having more in my savings account, which I did do. I actually managed to just open up another account, put that money away, so out of sight, out of mind. So those are just some things that I had on my vision board from last year, if you can recall. And so, again, a lot of things that I'm going to have on my vision board this year is going to be some of the things that I had planned for last year, but because of COVID, I wasn't able to accomplish some of those things. So we're going to get right into this. Okay, guys, here are some things that I have for my vision board. I have my uh, clips, my picture clips already cut out i also have some stickers to uh spell out some different things that i would like to include on my vision board 
I have some auto decal stickers as well. That's very cute for making my vision board. I have some die cut letters right there. And I also have some tape as well as some arrows. So the areas of focus for this year is going to be business, social media, travel, and healthy lifestyle. So again, you remember I told you that I was going to mimic some of the things that I wasn't able to accomplish for last year and put that back on my vision board for this year. So this is the, these are the things that I have on my vision board. I'm also using again, a black poster board that I purchased from Dollar Tree. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is start out by just putting some die cut letters at the top of my board. I like to make my vision boards very cute and girly. I was trying to find some double sided tape, but I was not able to find. I told you all that I like to start with a quote of what I want my year to look like. Last year's quote was leaving the past and looking forward to the future. So this year my quote is going to be carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the moment. So this year I'm going to take every opportunity to seize the moment. Okay so next I'm going to go with my first vision for the 2021 year and again that is social media. Social media. So I'm going to use these clips that I have that I cut out for social media. I'm going to plan around the board, around the carpe diem uh, sign so that when I look at it, I know to seize the moment for that particular goal. Here, I think I'm going to start over here and I'm going to put the social media tag right in the center. So for social media, some goals that I want to accomplish this regarding social media is I want to accomplish um, I want to accomplish making my YouTube channel more successful. I want to tackle more on my YouTube channel. Again, you know, uh, that can be a huge uh, tackle because again, I work full time and I'm not able to edit as much as I would as I would like to. I'm going to focus more on the content of my YouTube. And also I want to hopefully gain more subscribers. Now last year I put in that I wanted to gain 10,000 subscribers. So I would, to me that may have been unrealistic because I did not put enough content out there. And so that would have been hard for me to do that. So I'm not going to really set a number for my subscribers this year. I'm just praying that my subscriber count goes up. Also, I like to focus more on my Instagram. And so Instagram can surely play a vital role in, uh, in your social media. I also made these little arrows that's going to be pointed toward that particular goal. So my first vision this year is focusing on my social media. That mainly means my YouTube channel, making sure I create more content as well as gain more subscribers and also making sure that I post more on my Instagram because Instagram plays a vital role in your YouTube channel. All right, so my next vision is going to be centered around business. As, as you all know, I'm an educator and I'm about to retire in four years. And so after I retire, I want to have something in place. I want to have a business in place that can actually have me create more income as well as spend my time doing because I don't want to be that teacher that retires and have to go back and sub. So some ideas I have for my business is one, 
I like the idea of creating like a um a, a um I like the idea of creating like a um a personalization where people can get things personalized and you know I, I have to learn how I like the idea of creating something where people can get things customized so that means I have to do a lot of research on the things that people like and what they would actually want and I would have to create a website and so forth I also like the idea of having a like a jewelry line I love bangles and so Again, that would be centered around the idea of creating those websites to inform everybody. Another thing that I would like to do is start a um, cosmetics line. And guys, when the pandemic hit, it seemed like everybody, everybody uh, focused on creating like a lip gloss line and things like that. So I would like to do that as well, even though the demand for it right now is not... Uh, that high because everybody <coughs> even though the demand for it is not that high right now because everybody focused on because everybody focused in on that when the pandemic hit I will still like to create that also I would like to create like a skincare line something to keep your skin soft and smelling good so these are some things that I'm like putting into practices so these are some things that I'm like putting into practice, thinking real heavily about doing my research on what will be most beneficial for me. And I guess I have four years to get this plan together. And so hopefully I'll get it together within the four years. Okay guys, so my business focuses around four main areas which are having a customization line, um starting a jewelry line specifically like bangles i love bangles a cosmetic line and a skincare line so that's that okay so my next vision for the 2021 year so of course guys traveling so again, we are still in a pandemic <laughs> and that's going to determine a lot of things that I can and cannot do because I don't want to travel international and get somewhere where I can't come back. Or I don't want to travel to an international place and have to quarantine and spend most of my time in quarantine. So what I decided to do for this year until we can get some more answers about this virus and vaccines, I decided to put things on my vision as far as traveling to local places so again one of the places I would love to go back to is New Orleans I just love New Orleans they got such good food guys good food another place that I would like to go to is Miami I love Miami Okay, and if anybody know me, you know I love the beach. So, of course, Miami is going to be on there. Plus, Miami got good food as well, nice beach, uh, beach places, and they have um, great shopping. I put on my vision board again is to go to Disney World, hopefully for Christmas this year. And I'm going to make that happen. If I don't make anything else happen, I'm going to make Disney World happen. And then lastly, I would love to travel back to New York. I love New York. I like the hustle and bustle of New York. I like all the shopping. I just like the scenery of New York. I don't know what it is about New York, but I absolutely love New York. So my vision this year for traveling is focusing on New Orleans, Walt Disney World, New York, and hot Miami. Okay, so my last vision for 2021 is focusing on a healthy lifestyle yet again. So that's going to include some of the same things that I 
put in my last year vision board, which is making sure I'm eating healthier, making healthier recipes. So one of the things that I'm going to start back doing, guys, and I'm saying I'm going to start back doing this, but exercise, I'm telling you, being an educator and getting up early or working out after I get off, it's just been so hard. It's, it's just been really complicated because when I tell you I have been overwhelmed from this school year, I'm not exaggerating. It's, it's overwhelming. So again, I'm going to focus on exercising. I want to read more and the type of books that I want to read this year, I want to read books that are more motivational. Something that inspired me to focus on all of my hope, dreams, and admirations this year. Um, one of the things right here, guys, that's going to be most important is making sure I pray constantly. Not only praying over my food, but saying my prayers before I actually go to bed at night. And I had started developing that habit. You know, when you're growing up, your mom and dad always teaches you to say your prayers at night. But for some reason, as we get older, we tend to forget some of those habits that we've been taught growing up. And so I want to make sure I am praying constantly for everything. I'm very thankful for everything that God has done for me, doing for me, uh, looking out for me, and to know that he does all of these things, he deserves the utmost praise every single day. So I'm going to get into habit of constantly saying my prayers, not only when he does something for me, when, he, when things don't seem to go my way, I'm going to praise him anyway. All right, and again, focusing on eating healthier. So my goals in regards to living a more healthier lifestyle is going to be centered around exercising, reading more, eating healthier, and praying more. All right, so my goals for this year as far as traveling is to travel to um, places in, within the United States, such as New Orleans, Disney, New York City, and hot Miami. Okay, so my goals for social media this year is to focus on my YouTube channel, creating more content, gaining more subscribers, and focusing on my Instagram. Okay, so my goal for formulating a business this year is focused on creating a customizing line, a jewelry line, specifically bangles, a cosmetic line, as well as a skincare line. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed creating this vision board with me, and I hope that it gave you some inspiration to create your own. Remember that creating vision boards can give you an overall look at what you want your vision to be like or your goals to be like for your year and i think by having a plan in place and being reminded of that every day will help you succeed at what you plan on accomplishing well guys I, oh also uh, how did you like my um how did you like my new introduction guys that's why it took so long for me to actually put up a video because i wanted to create a new intro so leave a comment down below and tell me how you like the new intro also don't forget to like share and please tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to come and check out my channel although i don't post all the time which i'm hoping i'm going to get better at um, so i'm hoping that my content this year will be more inspirational for you so i guess i will see you all the next time again happy new year's and i can't wait to see what the new year has in store see you later Thank you.